Okay, uh, I want to tell a little story about this thing that happened one time when I was on a delivery for Albert's Pizza. Uh, back-to-back Albert stories. So uh, this one day, uh, I'm on delivery uh, at this place. You heard my last story about 50 Corbin, Corbin Avenue. Uh, it was a business in the same area, same industrial park area, around the corner from 50 Corbin. Now, if you've been following my stories and you know me, you know that I had nothing to do with guns whatsoever growing up. I never had a friend that owned a gun. My parents sure as shit didn't own guns. They're, you know, left-wing, anti-gun, think the NRA is like the Nazis. They'd be horrified if I ever owned a firearm. Probably would never tell my mom that. Yeah, right. Like, Mom, I just bought a gun. Yeah, I just bought an AR-15. No. And up to this point in my life, I was 20 at the time, I'd never seen a gun in real life, only in the movies. So, uh, I go to this delivery, and I, I bring the food inside this business. And again, there's this big, you know, Guido, Goomba, tough guy. Typical Long Island, fucking Long Island tough guy, bro. And I don't know why he did this. I'll never know. And why he didn't just nicely say, hey, you want to see this? You know, I have this in my desk. You know, I, I want to show you. No. He goes, hey, while looking at me with this crazy, like, steely-eyed psycho look on his face, like, locking eyes with me, he goes, hey, bro, you know what happens if someone tries to fucking rob me here? But, um... No, but I guess you're going to tell me. This motherfucker. And he pulls a shotgun out of his desk. And like, thank God he was smart enough to point it at the floor. Pulls it out of his desk and fucking cocks it while still staring me in the eyes. Yeah, now you see, right? Yeah, my fucking shotgun. That's what they get. Oh, yeah, how much is the uh, food, bro? What do I owe you? <laughs> Just like that. You know, uh, $22.45? Oh, here you go. Here's a tip. Have a nice day, kid. It's like, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is like the typical psycho, right? He can go from like 100 miles an hour to totally calm like that. Yeah, right. And, and like I said, most ordinary people, if they had a gun and they wanted to show it, they would be like, hey, uh, I have a shotgun in my desk. I use it for uh, self-defense in my business. Would you like to see it? Okay, sure. No, hey, check out my gun, motherfucker. And like, yeah, I was definitely not expecting that. And uh, it's the type of weirdos you meet when you drive a cab and do deliveries. You, 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 i never seen that before or since. But you meet a lot of crazy motherfuckers that do that type of shit. That would do something like that. Uh, oh, yeah. But, uh, yeah, that was my little story about the time I was on a delivery, another delivery for Albert's Pizza, and this tough guy, mafia motherfucker I delivered a pie to decided to let me know exactly what would happen if I tried to rob him as he pulled out a shotgun and cocked it without telling me. What a guy. What a fucking guy. <laughs>